Hello, Eva here with Eva Levay Arts, and I have my bling on because I'm doing some shimmery art today. So I have stuff that Peg sent me, and I'm going to do a journal page with it. So I've got an art journal out, and we'll just see what I will decide that I thought I could use for this project. Pretty, pretty stuff. Not sure if I'll use it all, but I at least brought it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in speed mode. As some of you may know or may not know, this is a collaboration that I'm doing with Peg Robinson, Ina Salisbury, and Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio. And basically it's a four month collaboration. We're doing one project a month and we switched partners for each month and sent each other some products or basically ephemera, anything shiny, sparkly, pretty blingy stuff that we had. And we're going to be doing different projects each month with those things. So this month we're doing an art journal page and as you can see here I'm just cutting out some circles. This is an old Stampin' Up! Colossal cutting system. I don't even know if they still make this but it's great for cutting out circles and I'm using some punches too and I'm just going to cut out a bunch of circles <laughs> for right now and then I'll come back if there's anything else I think you need to know. I'll go ahead and put those up and then grab some circle stencils and my Radiant Rain's Shimmering Mist by Color Art and give those some squirts through the stencil and basically just get a little bit of color on the page going with a circle theme. Not sure if you've picked up on that yet, but just give that a quick dry. Got some shimmer you can't tell of course on the video and now I will go ahead and attach some circles with some matte medium Some of those were a heavier cardstock, so I brought out my gel medium just to help them stick down a little bit better. And here I'm wiping away the matte medium that was on top of the shiny ones because it was getting in the way of the shine. So now I'm cutting off some of the edges of the circles that are going off the page. And that just helps the design look like it keeps on going. So now I'll use a stencil with some Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics paint. Oh no, no, it's not Deco Art. That one is Artist Loft, I believe, but it is a metallic paint. And I'm just going to apply that with a sponge through the stencil. This one is the Deco Arts Dazzling Metallic Paints and I'm using the lid of a Primary Elements jar, one of the old ones. So just getting some circles on there and then giving it a good dry. I'm taking my Stabilo All Pencil in black and outlining those 
circles and then I'll activate it with water and that will make it permanent once dry. Now I'm taking some Aline's Tacky Glue and just gluing on some of those smaller dots that I had punched out previously. And I'll make sure to cut off any of the those little circles that are going off the page. And here I'm sticking on some little embellishments that she sent, little sparkly stick-on pink gumdrop looking things. I don't know what they are, but anyway, um, next I will grab my Pentel Pocket brush pen and write in my quote and I'll be done. So make sure you check out the other videos on this little collaboration. I'll have the links below and also in the iCards. And the quote I picked was running in circles, chasing our tails from an old play song. So if you're familiar with the scientist, then you know it. But thanks anyway for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me some love in the comments below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.